Hi there boys and girls, Gareth at QC Tech here um, and uh, today a quick little video um, I'm just going to show you taking this uh, Lenovo all-in-one apart so this is a, a piece of kit that's coming from customers um, it's dead, um, uh, just Windows just stopped booting on it um, seems that it's anything graphics related so um, you know if you're doing anything text mode it works fine but as soon as you try and say boot the Windows installer for example or boot Ubuntu or anything like that it just stops working. Um, it's three and a half years old, something like that. So, um, spoken to the customer, we're going to replace it, but I need to get the hard drive out um, so that we can do some data recovery. We have backups, but it's one of those situations where it's just going to be easier for me to locally grab the data off the hard drive, restore it onto the new machine that I'm buying, um, rather than uh, going through the uh, data recovery side of things. So, um, Shift that mouse out of the way. These are a little bit daunting to start with, but they're not too bad once you've uh, once you've worked out what you're doing. So the first thing is that we've got to take this circular piece off here, and underneath here there are some screws. So just tend to find that levering that bit out tends to work. You can see there's a couple of clips on that. And that just pops out. Uh, and then similarly, this is a pop it out of the clips around the edge that you can see there, and they drop into these openings. So that's relatively straightforward. There are then four screws that hold the back of the case onto the uh, screen. And this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. So I'm going with uh, metal pry tool. And starting kind of in the corners. I'm wondering now whether I've started at the top on this in the past. There we go, sorry. And that's out of shot as well, isn't it, there? Well, you can see what I'm doing on the uh, on the smaller picture there. So just working across the top with the, uh, with the pry tool. working down towards the corner. And now we're going to come down this side. And we're just going gently, gently. Okay. And then you need to pull the screen back a little bit just to give this clearance to drop down. There are a couple of cables. Uh, so there's a cable just here. That one there that's hooked over. So you need to just get in and unhook those. And we're down. Okay, so just working around here. Okay, so that's the, the SSD extracted, so I can now get that 
ready for some data recovery. Um, I will just do a little label to put on that in a second, except obviously to uh, to protect the customer's identity, I will do that once I've stopped recording. Um, so yeah, so that's that's it. Now, now ordinarily there would be Around a little bit. So ordinarily there would be a drive caddy in that void there, um, but when I replaced the uh, the spinning rust disc in this with an SSD, which I did about eight nine months ago, um, I I tried various combinations of caddies and nothing was quite working. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to just slap the drive back in there. It's not going anywhere, so um, it's safe enough. I realise some people might think that that's Inappropriate, not the best way of doing it, but it's it's what worked for the job at the time. So I'm now going to bring this back up. Pop those two cables back in again. Just pinching it all back into place. Nice and gently working around. And there we are. Now you may be thinking, Gareth, why are you bothering to put this back together when it's broken and no good for anything. Um, well, the site actually have um, a few of these. So what I'm actually going to do is just pull the bits back together and it can go back to site and remain there as a spare for, you know, there's not a lot that you can take off these boards because they're all kind of integrated, but if, uh, if the screen were to go on one uh, and I knew that the board was good, for example, or even if you know if one of these clips breaks and we just want to make it look nicer, then I've got this to use as spares. I'm not a massive fan personally of the all-in-one machines because they, you know when they go they do tend to go like this and then there's not a lot else you can do. Um, if, you know, if you look on the, uh, there's this cute little pop-up webcam. Uh, so there we are. So this is a, what is this? What is this, Gareth? This is a Lenovo F0D1, all in one. Um, yeah, well, that's how you remove the hard drive. And obviously, this is, uh, whilst that was open, um, you could also see the, uh, the memory slot, uh, the memory slots in there as well. So if you wanted to do a memory upgrade, you could. Um, that's what you'd do for that as well. So there we go. Um, relatively quick, relatively straightforward. Um, hope that helps somebody out at some point uh, with getting into one of those. I will uh, see you in the next one. Uh, if you like what you've seen, it'd be great if you could uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, and like the video because, as the saying goes, it really does help with the. Uh, with the Google algorithms. Thanks very much. I've been Gareth Westwood. See you in the next one. Cheers.